sorry, sis. Your hobby making over 20k every month is mine now. My sister Alyssa laughed hysterically while saying that. Is she misunderstanding something? She was the one who stole my husband and even got pregnant with him. But she doesn't know that I, wearing a white coat, was in the examination room. You? Why? Why are you here? Well, because I'm the doctor. Yes, you finally realize that, don't you? I'm the doctor here, not him. My name is Wendy, 37 years old, and I'm a doctor. I work in the OBGYN department, where I see patients every day. People come to the hospital with various problems, and I prioritize providing appropriate examinations and ease their anxieties. Wendy, how's your day going? Here, I brought lunch. Oh, sweet! Thank you, Mark. Mark is my boyfriend, and he works in a clerk in the internal medicine department. We were classmates in high school. We constantly met again when I started working at this hospital. He used to be the quarterback of the football team in high school, and even received a university recommendation. He aspired to become a professional player, but that dream faded away. After graduating from university, he had various jobs, and he started working as a clerk at this hospital two years before I came here. I never expected to meet our former classmates here, so it felt like fate to me. Since then, we started going out for drinks after work. I felt our bond gradually growing stronger, and one day he confessed his feelings, and we started dating. Our relationship was good. He was skilled in cooking, and whenever I visited his place, he would always prepare delicious meals for me. Being a doctor is a highly stressful job, so I appreciated him cooking nutritious meals for me. We practically lived together, so we decided to get married at that point. Our parents blessed our marriage. It seems that my in-laws. We're concerned about the disparity in status between a clerk and a doctor when it came to Mark and me. But honestly, I didn't care about such things at all. In this day and age, it's strange for anyone to worry about which spouse earns more. I loved Mark, and I wanted to marry him, so I didn't want him to feel any guilt because of that. When I explained this, my in-laws seemed relieved. And politely bowed their heads. I thought they were very kind and good parents. From then on, Mark and I smoothly proceeded with our wedding preparations. But there was one problem. That problem was my sister Alyssa. To be honest, Alyssa and I don't get along well. The majority of the issues stem from her. Alyssa was objectively quite beautiful. While I, to be honest, was average in terms of appearance, because Alyssa was praised and fawned over due to her beauty, her personality became quite unpleasant. She had a tendency to claim everything for herself, and had a noticeable arrogant attitude. Our parents treated both my sister and me equally, but Alyssa apparently despised that. Why do I have to be treated the same as you? Everyone should treat me better. As a sister who could get anything she wanted, she looked down on me because of my plain appearance. I disliked being belittled by her, and studied hard to find something I could excel at. Thanks to that, my grades improved significantly, and I was able to enter medical school. However, once I left home for university, she lost all interest in me, and we grew distant. Even now, she doesn't seem to know that I am a doctor. She knows I work at the hospital, but she thinks I'm either a clerk or a nurse. But that worked out well for me. If she found out that I was a doctor, she would likely come to me for money 
or as we arrange mixed parties with doctors and such. So I told my parents that they didn't need to inform my sister about my profession. Knowing about our strained relationship, my parents understood. Well, in the first place, my sister never bothered asking about me. But I felt it was common sense to inform her about my upcoming marriage. So I called my sister for the first time in a while. What? Even though it had been a while, my sister answered the phone with a very cold attitude. If she is going to take that kind of attitude, then I'll respond in a curt manner too. I've decided to get married. Then what? It's about the meeting between both families and the wedding. Not coming. Bye. With that, my sister hung up the phone. It's true that our relationship is really bad, and this is how it turns out. When I explained the situation to my parents, they were exasperated. I'm sorry. I guess we'll be even more distant from now on. She's also married and has her own family, right? And true to her word, my sister didn't participate in the meeting between both families or the wedding. I honestly told Mark and my in-laws the whole story and apologized. They said they didn't mind at all and accepted, which was a relief. After that, Mark and I started our newlywed life. We had already been living together, but being newlyweds seemed to have a certain magical effect, and every day felt incredibly fresh. I deeply felt happiness of married life, and thought to myself, "So this is married life." My husband cooks delicious meals for us every day, but I couldn't just let my husband do all the housework, so I took care of the cleaning, laundry, and other chores. On our days off, we went on drives or trips, and our time together as a married couple was fulfilling. Every day was truly happy, and I felt that I would continue to enjoy delightful days with my husband forever. And about six months after getting married, we attended the year-end gathering at my parents' house. To my surprise, my sister was there. I hadn't expected her to come to this family gathering. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Mark, Wendy's husband. Wendy's husband? Huh. I thought you would be more dull, but hey, you are a good-looking guy, aren't you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> My sister had already been drinking. She had a bad habit. Of acting inappropriately towards men when she was drunk. Hey, Mark, wanna pour me a drink? Oh, oh, sure. Here. Oh no, it spilled. Jeez, you're so clumsy, Mark. S sorry. That's how my sister acted, using a flirtation tone and trying to seduce my husband. Well, my sister is already married. And my husband knows I'm here, so nothing should happen, right? I try to avoid talking to my sister as much as possible, and focused on my meal. I wanted to relax and unwind at home, but my sister there, I couldn't find peace of mind at all. The next day, while we were in the car on our way home, my husband said something unexpected. Your sister is a wonderful person, isn't she? What? It seemed like my husband had positive impression of my sister. Could it be that she said something flirting about him yesterday, and now he's feeling pleased with himself? I was a bit disappointed in my husband, and at the same time, I had an uneasy feeling. After we got home, I decided to call my mother. Hey, mom. Um, is Alyssa still married? Right? When I asked that. I received a surprising answer from my mother. Oh, that! I forgot to mention. That girl actually got divorced recently. Huh? She left her husband and came back home. Sh she did? I was shocked to hear this unexpected news. I had assumed that my sister was simply visiting for the new year.
But it turns out she got divorced and came back home. I felt my anxiety growing rapidly inside me. About three months had passed since I reunited with my sister. And then my husband said something to me. Oh, by the way, isn't your mother's birthday next month? Huh? Mom's birthday? How come? As I responded that way, my husband visibly became flustered. Oh, whoa, yeah, you mentioned it a while ago. Oh, is that so? I found it suspicious. Could it be that my husband has been in contact with my sister or meeting her? Actually, we used to go home together after work. But recently, my husband has been leaving early more often. And on his days off, he would often mention plans with his friends and go out alone. Could it be that he is meeting my sister? So maybe that's why he knew the dates of my mother's birthday. So, what about mom's birthday? Oh, well, I, I thought it would be nice if we all celebrated together. Either at your parents' place or going out for a meal. Uh, if I had no concerns, my husband's suggestion would have been very pleasant. But if he has that kind of relationship with my sister, then he probably just wants an excuse to meet her. I decided to accept my husband's proposal for now and said I would ask my parents about it. And so, it was decided that we would all go out for a meal on my mother's birthday. Since my sister was also joining, I decided to observe the interaction between my husband and her. They seemed quite cautious and didn't engage in any obvious flirting or intimacy. But that only made it more suspicious. My sister is the type who goes after what she wants, especially when it comes to pursuing someone she's interested in. So, the fact that she was treating my husband normally probably meant that they were already in that kind of relationship. I contemplated hiring a private investigator, but before I could do anything like that, my husband and sister approached me to confess their affair. It happened on a day off. My husband, who had been out in the morning, came home with my sister. And then, my husband kneeled and apologized to me. I'm sorry, Alyssa is pregnant with my child. What? I was shocked by the words that went beyond my imagination. I had suspected that they were having an affair, but I never expected her to become pregnant. Seeing my surprise, my sister seemed satisfied or even triumphant, and she said, Well, it ended up turning into a situation where I'm taking him away, huh? But he fell in love with me, so there is nothing I can do about it, right? In an instant, my love for my husband disappeared. I don't want a man who would easily fall for temptations of such a foolish woman. So you were going to divorce me and marry Alyssa? Yes, I'm sorry. Although my husband said it with his mouth, his face didn't seem apologetic. He appeared strangely happy at the thought of having a more beautiful wife than me. So, I can't stay here anymore. I go pack my things. Saying that, my husband went to his room. Then my sister approached me and said, Sorry sis, real happy making over 20k every month is mine now. My sister said that and burst into laughter. I don't come to understand what she was a misunderstanding. There is no way you are allowed to live a wealthy life. I should be the one marrying a rich man and living an easy life. I see. Could it be that my sister thinks my husband is a doctor? I chuckled inwardly. My sister is mistaken and my husband is hiding the truth. I no longer have any attachment to my husband. And imagining my sister's reaction when she learns the truth. It was difficult to hold back my laughter. Well then, 
I'm leaving. We'll discuss the divorce another time. Saying that, my husband left with my sister. I immediately hired a lawyer and proceeded with the divorce and claiming compensation. And eventually, my divorce from my husband was finalized, and my compensation claim was granted. After that, I returned to my usual life smoothly, as if it were a lie. In the midst of all that, I looked at the scheduled appointment list and was surprised. My sister's name was on it. The woman who stole my husband and even got pregnant with him. She still doesn't know that I, in my white coat, am here. Excited to see my sister's reaction, I waited for the nurse to bring her in. My sister, called by her name, responded and opened the door. Hi, Alyssa. As I said that, my sister looked at my face, and her face quickly turned pale. Why are you here? I was thoroughly satisfied with the expression on her face. Well, because I'm the doctor here. Huh? What are you talking about? Surprised. And by the way, Mark is a receptionist in another department. I'm the doctor, and I make a monthly salary of twenty k. But that's a lie. It must be a lie. Oh dear, Mark lied to you, right? Well, he probably thought he could deceive you by pretending to be a doctor, or maybe you misunderstood and thought he was a doctor just because he works at a hospital. It seems like I hit the nail on the head. You were deceived, huh? Poor thing. But I've already remarried him. Well. So what? Even as a receptionist, he still gets a proper salary, right? No, it's unacceptable. I want to become wealthy, you know. I can't indulge in anything with a receptionist's salary. Whoa, you're something. You can only judge men based on their money and appearance, huh? What else is there to consider? I think I have a vague idea of why you got divorced. When you are with someone who can't see beyond the surface, it becomes empty inside. I'm sure. Well, I doubt you can even understand such things. Anyway, I'm the one who's a doctor and has a high salary. So, what do you think? Should we continue with the examination? You're so annoying. I'll find someone else to consult with. After saying that, my sister stood up and left the examination room. I explained the situation to the surprised nurse, who witnessed the whole thing. As a result, unintentionally, news of my ex-husband's affair with my sister spread through the hospital. Naturally, my ex-husband began to be looked at with cold eyes by his colleagues and nurses. As for my sister, it seems that the reason for her divorce from her previous husband was her own affair, and she couldn't divorce Mark because she had to pay him alimony while raising their child. However, both my ex-in-laws and my own parents were thoroughly disgusted, and they completely severed ties with my sister and ex-husband. Currently, they are living in poverty. Without any reliable family to rely on, it's quite ironic that my sister, who only acknowledged a wealthy lifestyle, finds herself in such a situation. Although the child is not at fault, I hope they can change their ways and rebuild their lives properly. On the other hand, I had already moved on from this incident. And now I live my days dedicating myself to my patients as usual. I hope that someday I will have wonderful encounter. But for now, I want to focus on my work and give it my all.